Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to have some discussion about MCQs of first unit of paper B, zoology, animal classification, its phylogeny and organization. These questions have been taken from fifth edition of Miller and Hawley Zoology, chapter seven. Let's move to the question number one. Symbion Pandora belongs to. It's uh, a newly discovered organism uh, having three species, and they are classified into a separate for phylum known as Cycliophora. That's why right option is Alpha in this case. It was discovered in 1995 by Danish scientist, and it contains three noun species only. One of the following is most exclusive category. As far as different categories are concerned, we know uh, after domain and kingdom, the phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. This is their descending order. And most exclusive will be having least species. So in this case, genus is the right option. As you can see over here, as we move from a domain to species or kingdom to species level, there are lesser organisms included in it. So if we're discussing at it, this corner, at this corner, it contains exclusive groups and the larger corner is having inclusive groups. So most inclusive category in this case is domain and most exclusive is species. But as far as this list is concerned, uh, a better term is the genus because species is not uh, an option over here. Question number three. Which of the following branch is specifically concerned with evolutionary relatedness of different animal groups? It is systematics, which is better related to the evolutionary relationship, while taxonomy is concerned with identification, naming, and classification of organisms. But systematics, it also tries to build phylogenetic or evolutionary, evolutionary relationship between organisms. So right option is Charlie. Number four, time elapsed since the divergence from a common ancestor can be estimated by using different techniques, such as by making an estimation of the changes in nucleotide sequences of the DNA, changes in sequence of nucleotides in the RNA, or sequences of amino acids as well uh, in the protein. So right option in this case is Delta. That we can use various te uh, techniques, various ways, to find out common ancestry in case of molecular biology. Which of the following DNA is commonly used to find out the maternal lineages? As we know, the mitochondrial DNA is inherited from mother cells or oocytes only. That's why it is used to find out paternal, uh, sorry, maternal lineages. For example, in this case, you can see a sperm only donates its nuclear DNA. It only donates its nucleus. While the mitochondria, they are received in a zygote from maternal side. That's why, as far as mitochondrial inheritance is concerned, it is searched out in a paternal lineage. Which of the following is most exten extensively used to find out the taxonomic relationship? Ribosomal RNA is a molecule which is thought to be conserved in the evolutionary history. That's why it is most commonly used molecule as compared to others. So right option in this case is Charlie. Number seven. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Fungi, Planty, and Kingdom Animalia. They are the options of a five kingdom system that lie according to the five kingdom system is divided into five major groups and there are certain questions which can be asked in this case that only unicellular organisms they are found in which group they are found in uh, kingdom monera so right option is alpha and only multicellular organisms they are included in kingdom planty as well as kingdom animalia they include multicellular organisms only so d and e Mainly unicellular and some multicellular organisms are included in kingdom protista as most of the organisms over there are 
unicellular but some may be multicellular. As far as uh, many multicellular and some unicellular organisms are asked, it will be fungi. Right option is Charlie. The fungi, they have yeast as unicellular representatives, while most of the other fungi, they are multicellular. Absorptive heterotrophic mode of nutrition is found in kingdom fungi and some protists, but only absorptive heterotrophs will be found in kingdom fungi. So, Charlie again. Ingestive heterotroph only, they are animals. Protists, they are having a variety of mode of nutrition, just like bacteria and fungi, they are mainly absorptive. Plants, they are mainly photosynthetic and animals, they are ingestive. And we know that a major basis for the class education, they were cellular organization and nutrition for this five kingdom system of classification. Slowness of change in RNA, especially in the ribosomal RNA, it's known as evolutionary conservation. So right option is Charlie. The number of prokaryotic and eukaryotic domains is respectively. There are three domains, archaea, eubacteria, and eukarya. So eukaryotes are only having one domain, but prokaryotes are having two domains. So right option is alpha. Number 10, a group in which members are traced to different ancestors is called polyphyletic group. While a monophyletic group, as you can see, number one and number seven, eight, they can be referred as polyphyletic one to eight. They are having different ancestral forms. But monophyletic one to six organisms, they are having common origin over here. That's why they are monophyletic. But a paraphyletic group, it is an out group usually like five is a different group than one, two, three, or four, five, six. They are different. They're having one, two, three, they're having ancestor over here, while four and five, they're having ancestor over here in this branch or the last one. When a group is having an out group feature in a group or in a class, it's referred as paraphyletic group. One of the following is considered as traditional approach for animal systematics. Evolutionary systematics is the oldest of all the approaches and it is said to be a traditional approach in case of animal systematics. And evolutionary systematics, it classified birds as a separate groups because they are giving more importance to their unique characters such as presence of feathers or flight. While cladistic taxonomy is somehow different, uh, it classified birds as a group of reptiles and birds are grouped closely together because they share many derived characters with the reptiles. So, and numerical taxonomy, as far as numerical taxonomy is concerned, it makes use of numerical features, facts and figures. One of the following is not the base for animal taxonomy. Animals, they are classified on the basis of homology, nucleotide sequences, amino acid sequences sometimes, but Analogies is not a feature used in animal classification. As we know, that those structures which are analogous, such as penguin, wings, sharks, uh, fin, and whale flipper, they're all used for swimming. They're having same function, but different basic structure and different ancestors. That's why they cannot be used to find out the common characteristic or common ancestor. On the other hand, homologous structures they are used to find out the common ancestry. So right option in this case is analogy. In which of the following discussion is limited to closely related taxonomy, that is numerical taxonomy, and which of the following is least popular, that's also numerical taxonomy, and which of the following make use of computer techniques and mathematical models, it's also numerical taxonomy. All these three features, they can be asked with reference to numerical taxonomy. So right option over here is beta for all these questions. Characters that have arisen since common ancestry with the out group are called, they are known as derived characters or synapomorphies, which are derived characters. But simplesiomorphies, they are referred as shared characteristics. 
Simplesiomorphy uh, is an ancestral character shared by two or more taxa, while synapomorphy is a characteristic present in an ancestral species and shared exclusively by its evolutionary descendants. We'll try to cover its examples in the next slide. Presence of shell, for example, in turtle, in all vertebrate group, is a derived or synapomorphic character. It's not shared character. That's why right option is beta. So as you can see over here, that all vertebrates, they share certain characteristics, such as presence of notochordex, etc. But uh, the different groups of vertebrates, such as turtles, they're having shells, they are having a different or derived characters in this group that is known as a synapomorphy. According to the fossil evidence, how many groups of echinoderm existed in the past? There were almost 20 to 30 groups of echinoderms which are indicated in the fossil record. So right option over here is Charlie. Equal distribution of receptors is observed in which type of symmetry? It is radial symmetry in which we can find out equal distribution of receptors on all sides. And it includes mostly sessile organisms or less motile, less active organisms, while asymmetrical organisms, they do not have specific distribution of receptors on all sides. Or, but bilateral symmetry shows most of the receptor distributed on the cephalic end, that's also known as cephalization. Which of the following term refers to a structure towards the tail, as far as position of the structure is concerned? Cordon is the term which is used to refer to a structure which is towards the tail, while posterior, it refers to the tail end actually, and cephalic to the head end. Distal means it's away from the point of attachment. Here are some features which are used, or some terminology which are used, aboral at the end of mouth, sorry, at the end of opposite end of the mouth, oral at the end of mouth, interior, the head end, posterior, tail end, caudal towards tail, cephalic towards the head, Distal away from the point of attachment and proximal towards the point of attachment. Dorsal, as you can see, is the upper side, the back of an animal, usually upper side. And ventral is the belly side of an animal. While inferior or posterior, inferior or superior, is referred to below or above a point of reference. And lateral sides, they are left and right sides of an animal. Median or medial, on or near the plane that divides the bilateral animal into Two so right option over here was delta caudal end. Which of the following layer is usually nutritive in its function? The layer which is mostly concerned with digestive secretions and nutrition is gastrodermis. So right option is Charlie. It evolves from, it develops from endodermis or endoderm and it is concerned with the production of digestive secretions. A layer in diploblastic organisms, which is non-cellular, the non-cellular layer in case of diploblastic organism is mesoglia. And it is found between epidermis and endodermis. In which of the following body cavity is completely lined by mesoderm, or you can be asked, that in which of the following peritoneum and the serosa are continuous, there is silomates, a group of silomates in which body cavity is completely lined by mesoderm. While acylomates do not, do not have a specific body cavity, in case of pseudocylomates, the cavity is having inner lining of endoderm and outer lining of mesoderm, but only in case of silomates the body cavity is completely lined by mesoderm on all sides. That's why they are known as true silomates or silomates. One of the following is not a mesodermally derived tissue. It's null, muscle, blood, limb, and many of the structures, they develop from mesoderm, but nerve tissue develops from the ectoderm. So right option is beta. Body cavities in animals have all of the following advantages except they do not act as endoskeleton, but they facilitate increased body size, provide a vehicle for waste removal, as well as a site of storage. So right option is beta. 
they may also provide more surface area they may also act as a source of hydrostatic skeleton or removal of waste etc all of the following features are shown by proterostomes except proterostomes they have trochophore larva they have spiral and terminate cleavage they have blastopore which forms a mouth end but they do not show enterocilous silom formation their silom formation is schizocilous that is formed by splitting of mesoderm so right option in this case is delta chinophora com jellies they are the examples of radiata grade radiata and they will be discussed in detail in the upcoming uh, chapters so right option over is charlie next discussion will be about animal like protists inshallah or protozoa from the same edition fifth edition chapter number 8 miller and all zoology thank you for watching allah hafiz